Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to take another look at VA Smalltalk and start exploring the system. One of the ways I usually explore a system that I'm not that familiar with is to take some code that I'm pretty familiar with, write it, and then see how it operates and do some code exploration based on that. So here's a little block of code that sits at the heart of an awful lot of things I've done in other Smalltalks. This is a server loop where I have a true while true, and then instead of this little piece of code, count gets count plus one, transcript show the count, I have real work. So in a typical server, I might have something that listened on a socket. I might have something that periodically did some work. But this is the heart and soul of a lot of code I've written, where you just fork this off of some priority. So to see how things work in VA Smalltalk, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and execute that. And it's going to start running in the background. You can see it's putting things up in the transcript. Not terribly exciting. But what I can do is say, OK, let's take a look at Processor. I know Processor user background priority actually works. So I'm going to right click in here and hit Inspect. And I notice it's an instance of processor scheduler. And you can see the inspector here, and I can start exploring that. But let's push that aside for a minute. What I want to do, though, is go Tools, Browse Class, and I want to now look at Processor Scheduler. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I can now go ahead and look at this class. So I now have this guy, and I can go ahead and take a look at the active priority, the active process. So I can go ahead and grab an active process and look at its priority. That's interesting. Another thing I want to do, though, is I want to actually look at this guy, the process. So I went down here in my workspace, and I have a process. So let's go ahead and inspect that. And that gives me a process, and it tells me it's suspended, because when I happen to look at it, it's not doing anything, which is going to be the case most of the time for a process that's got a delay in it. But I can see a whole lot of things here. I see a terminate block. I can see that it's resumable. I can see its current state. So there's a whole lot of interesting information I can look at. But more importantly, since I've got a process, what I can do is I can go to Tools, Browse Class, and I can go ahead and take a look at Process. And that'll give me a browser on the process. And I can start taking a look here. I have my categories of methods, and I have the method pane over here where I'll have the actual methods and then the source code. Things are a little different in VA than what I'm used to, at least in Faro, Squeak, and VisualWorks. I have this concept of public methods, private methods, and then everything if I don't want to be bothered with that. In NV, you can mark things private, whereby it's not just a convention of the naming of the category. It's actually kind of walled off a bit, not in any execution sense, but in the sense that you have to go out of your way to look at it. So it's kind of getting another layer there of saying, you really shouldn't be using this unless you know what you're doing. So I can go over here and take a look at the public methods. I can hit all if I don't want to be bothered. Again, I can look at everything. I can see the most common way of dealing with this process if I want to deal with it is terminate. So I can go ahead down here. And now if I want to just do this, proc terminate. And you can see that once I highlight this and do an execute on it, it's going to stop running. So just from a small little piece of code that I already knew how to write in Smalltalk, I was able to explore a whole lot of things. The process class, the process scheduler, the process scheduler inspector on the actual thing running. So I was able to go ahead and look at a whole lot of things just by doing a small tiny bit of code. What we'll do in the future is we'll take each of these little tools in turn, the inspector, the browser, the debugger eventually, and we'll kind of dive into the guts of those and see how they all work. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.